Hey, so we just got every budget 3x3. The cubes had to fit two requirements. Number one, it had to be $10 or less. And number two, it had to be magnetic. Because let's be real, non-magnetic cubes suck. The cubes we're trying today are the Yisheng 3x3, YJ Yulong V2M, Qi EMS, Qi EM Pro, Dian Sheng 3M, Yushin Kailin V2M, Yushin Little Magic 3x3, Yushin Little Magic V2, Meilong 3M, RS3M 2020, RS3M 2021, and RS3M Super. Also stay tuned for a giveaway at the end of this video. Okay, so let's start with the Yisheng 3x3. I bet most of you haven't even heard of this cube before. It comes in fairly simple packaging, just the cube, a pamphlet, and a dual adjustment tool. The cube comes in at $9.99. Let's hope it's worth it. Oh, and I forgot to mention I'll be adding all these cubes to a tier list, and I have a special punishment for the cubes that don't quite make the cut. But I'll save that for a future video. So the Yisheng had a very rattly hollow feeling to it, which can be a little loud compared to other releases, but I'm sure a bit of lube would muffle the sound a bit. The cube was also pretty fast, and I don't know about you guys, but I would much rather have a cube that's too fast than it being too slow. The cube has a dual adjustment system very similar to the Moyu cubes coming up later in this video. And it also has eight settings. What a coincidence, eh, Yisheng? Looking at the pieces, it comes with large cutouts in the corner, which is probably why the cube had a more hollow feel. Despite the cube having pretty good corner cutting, it felt somewhat cheap. And for that reason, I had to give it a C. Moving on to the Yulong V2M, and I decided to get a stickered version. Why? Honestly? I don't know. It also comes with a pamphlet, but let's be real, no one reads those. The cube felt pretty decent. Less clacky than the Yisheng, but a bit more premium feeling. The sticker quality looks fine, and spoiler, I have had this cube for a while, and the stickers have held up really well. Turning was smooth, nothing mind-blowing, but at $8.99, it's not too bad. However, it is the same price, if not more expensive, than some of the upcoming cubes. It's a decent cube, but there's better ones to come, so I'm gonna give this one a B. On to the next cube, and it's from Dianshang. It comes in at $7.99, which is pretty competitive, the cube, however, wasn't. It felt pretty cheap, had some annoying center caps, and honestly, I don't think this is worth getting over its competitors, so I'm gonna give this one a D. Next cube. With three cubes under $10, Yushin used to be the big name when it came to budget cubes. Starting with the Yushin Kailin V2M, I lost the box for this cube, so you're gonna have to use your imagination here. It comes in only one option, which is tiled, kind of like the new Rubik's brand cubes, but does it turn like a Rubik's brand? Before getting to turning, you've probably already noticed one major issue with this cube, the quality control. One of the tiles was sticking out, which would technically make this cube illegal in competitions. And after a lot of effort, I decided to give up and just go straight into turning. Turning was smooth, but corner twists were pretty easy. I cannot recommend this cube, D tier. Can Yushin redeem themselves with this next cube, the Yushin Little Magic M? With Cubehead comparing this cube to $50 flagships, I had to give this one a try. It comes in at 56 millimeters. Oh, hey Kevin. I miss when packaging was a size of the cube and didn't have so much unnecessary space. It comes with both the cube and a pamphlet. Hope you can read Chinese. Wait, both sides are Chinese. What? The cube comes reasonably loose and with primary internals. Nice. This had to be the best cube so far. It's not extremely fast and has a bit of resistance to it, which actually makes it really controllable. Under the hood, it has a simple spring screw mechanism, so nothing special. But I don't think this cube needs dual adjustment. Or does it? Before we get into the V2, I'm going to give the V1 an A tier. Very solid cube. Onto the Little Magic V2 in this upgraded packaging. Let's hope the cube is upgraded too. It comes in at $9.99, so $1 more than the V1. For a cube, Yushin cube stand, a compression tool, and an accessories box. Psych. For real though, does anyone know what this is? Because I don't. Back to the cube, it has a glossy plastic for a bit of extra grip out of the box, but the turning just wasn't it for me. Corner cutting wasn't great, and I honestly preferred the V1 over this cube. Partly because the V2 is 0.5mm smaller and didn't turn as well out of the box. Shades were slightly better on the V2, so I will give them that. Despite the cube having a dual adjustment system, I really didn't feel like setting this one up. So I'm gonna give it a C. So we have five budget cubes from Moyu. Wait. There's an imposter among us, Dian Shen. So we have four budget cubes from Moyu. The Meilong 3M, RS3M 2020, RS3M 2021 Maglev, and the RS3M 2022 Super. So you may have a few questions on your mind, like where are the RS3M V5s? Or isn't the RS3M 2021 Maglev over $10? So yes, the RS3M Maglev is $13.99, but I added this into the video just because I knew there'll be a lot of people in the comments asking about it. So I'm one step ahead, big brain. Moyu keeps making new 3x3s and I'm struggling to keep up. So I will get the RS3M V5s and I'll 
make a video on them in the future, so subscribe. Starting with the Mirlong, it's the cheapest cube in the video at $6.99 and has all the standard stuff in the box. The cube and an accessories box containing a pamphlet, which I spent way too long trying to put back, that was kind of embarrassing, and a screwdriver. So the cube turned pretty decent. I've tried this cube both set up and completely dry, so I know this cube has potential. Corner cutting wasn't amazing out of the box, but it handled the small cuts pretty well. I wouldn't really say the cube is better than the other cubes in this video, and it's only $3 less. I think most people can justify spending an extra $3 and having way more options, so I'm gonna give this cube a B. Plus. Time for the RS3M 2020. According to the cubicle, it's the best selling speed cube of all time, so we'll have to see how it compares to its competitors. It comes with the cube. That's it. Oh, wait, there's an accessories box too. And after a lot of effort, It just had a screwdriver, pamphlet, and spare dual adjustment thingy. So the cube comes in matte plastic, and in fact, all the Moyu cubes in this video are gonna be in matte plastic. Turning felt buttery smooth, and uh, yeah, tensions were really loose on this cube. I've tried this cube both completely dry and completely set up when we tried all five Yo cubes. I'll put the Yo cube video at the end of this video, so feel free to check that out. The cube is great, so for that reason, I'm gonna give it an A. Very solid cube. But what about Maglev? For those that don't know, maglev is when the cube uses repelling magnets instead of springs for reduced friction. The cube comes in at 39.9, no, 39, whoa, no. The cube comes in at 13.99, which is $5 more than the spring version. But is it really worth the upgrade? Ugh, not again. The cube out of the box felt quite rattly and dry. Just to double check, I did compare the mechanism to the non-maglev, and as expected, the mechanism was exactly the same. The cube was pretty fast, probably a bit too fast, and would definitely need some lube to be usable. Also, somehow this cube couldn't cut line to line reverse, even though the 2020 could. It can't be the tensions, because reverse corner cutting isn't really affected by tensions. It's not under $10, so it doesn't really Really make the requirements for this tier list, but if I had to add it, I would give it a B or a C. So let's hope they redeem themselves with the 2022 budget release, the RS3M 2022 Super. So I actually unboxed this cube in a different video in which I bought every cubicle lube, and I quite liked it. Without lube, this cube is decent, but I ended up setting up this cube using the Your Lube setup for the Your Cube video, and I ended up getting some really good solves. So much to the point that I would give this cube an S tier. Will it be dethroned? Let's see if Chi can do anything about it with their two budget budget releases, the Chi EMS and the Chi EM Pro. They also released another cube a while back called the Chi EMP, but at $17.99 it doesn't really fit the requirements. Starting with the Chi EMS, it came with just the pamphlet and the cube. No need for any accessories because this cube doesn't have dual adjustment, and honestly, I respect that. The cube performed pretty well. It has a harder, clackier feeling compared to cubes like the Melon RS3M, which some people will like, some people will hate. There are four reasons why I prefer the Chi EMS over the RS3M 2020. One, it's very difficult to corner twist. Two, it's 56 millimeters instead of 55 and a half. Three, mine didn't have spring noise. And four, it's got better shades. Is it better than the RS3M Super though? That one was tough. If you like a more snappy, responsive cube at 56 millimeters, the Chi EMS is better. If you want a softer, quieter cube with dual adjustment, I think the RS3M Super is a safe option. For now, I'll let them share the S tier. Chi didn't just stop there though. The Chi EM Pro also comes in at $9.99 and is rumored to solve a lot of the problems the Chi EMS had, along with adding a dual adjustment system. The Chi EM Pro actually lets you adjust the compressions by hand. It's a bit fidgety, but there's a few reasons why I like this over the Moyu system. One, you don't need to carry a tool with you. Two, it has 11 settings instead of the eight settings that Moyu offers. And three, it has numbers on them, so you don't have to count the clicks like you would with Moyu cubes. But how does the performance compare? Both the Chi EM Pro and RS3M Super feel very similar, but is it better than the RS3M Super? In my opinion, not quite. I think the RS3M Super wins the budget cube comparison. So if you want a 3 by 3 at $10, I would get the RSCM Super. However, if the Chi EM Pro is on sale for lower than the RSCM Super, then I would say it's worth it. It's giveaway time, boys. Recently, we hit 1K subscribers, so I've decided to give away two $10 cubicle gift cards. All you have to do is comment below. You don't have to like the video, you don't have to subscribe. Although, please subscribe. We are growing faster than ever, so a huge thanks for all the support. I will announce the winner in two weeks. Good luck. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.